Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang changing fractions to decimal and decimals to fractions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, sa pag-change ng fractions to decimal or decimals to fractions, mahalaga na alam nyo na yung concepts ng decimals as well as yung different operations nito. Like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. By the way, may na akong series of videos about decimals as well as addition to division of decimals. So, ililink ko na lang para mapanood nyo. Okay, ngayon, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-change ng fractions to decimal or mag-change ng decimal to fractions. So, let's start with the first example. So, change 3 fourths. To decimal. So, pag mag-change tayo ng fraction sa decimal, so therefore, we have 3 divided by 4. So, ngayon nga, dahil mag-change tayo ng fraction sa decimal, so magkakaroon tayo ng decimal point. Ngayon yung 3 sa loob ng division symbol, automatic, wala siyang decimal point. So, nasa dulo yung decimal point niya. So, nandito. Kasi whole number siya. Then, the first step, itatapat nyo lang doon sa taas yung magiging quotient nyo, yung decimal point na to. So, mapupunta siya dito sa taas. And then, magdi-divide na kayo. So, simulan nyo yung sa 3 divided by 4 is 0. Kasi mas mataas yung 4 sa 3. So, 0. Tapos, 0 times 4 is 0. Then, subtract. 3 minus 0 is 3. Then, napansin nyo, may remainder kayo na 3. Kapag magdi-divide kayo ng fractions, tas may remainder kayo, pwede kayo magdagdag ng 0 sa dulo. And then, pwede nyo i-bring down. So, mag-add tayo ng 0 dito after ng decimal point. Then, i-bring down natin. So, ngayon, pwede nyo na ali i-divide yung 30 by 4. So, we have 7. Then, 7 times 4 is 28. Then, subtract. So, we have 30 minus 28 is 2. And then, again, hindi pa 0 yung remainder. So, so meron pa tayong 2. So, therefore, hindi pa tayo titigil sa pag-divide. Pwede pa tayo ulit magdagdag ng 0 and then i-bring down natin. So, ngayon, mer meron na tayong 20. Ngayon, divide na uli natin. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And then, 5 times 4 is 20. So, this time, 20 minus 20 is 0. So, dahil 0 na yung remainder natin, Stop na tayo. Therefore, nakuha na natin yung final answer, which is 0 0.75. Okay, let's solve another example. Change 3 eighths to decimal. So again, divide lang natin yung numerator sa denominator. Then, lagyan natin ng decimal point yung dulo. Now, let's divide. 3 divided by 8 is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. So, since meron tayong remainder na 3 pa, mag a tayo ng 0. Then, bring down din natin. So, 30 divided by 8 is now 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 30 minus 24 is 6. So, dahil meron pa tayong remainder na 6, mag a tayo uli ng 0. Then, bring down natin. So, magiging 60. So, now, 60 divided by 8 is 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Then subtract. 60 minus 56 is 4. So, hindi pa 0 yung remainder. So, mag-add pa tayo ng 0. Then, bring down uli natin. So, we have now 40 divided by 8 is 5. So, 5 times 8 is 40. And finally, 40 minus 40 is 0. So, therefore, stop na tayo sa division. And yung final answer natin ay 0. 375. Therefore, 3 eighths is equal to 0 0.375. So, for the third example, we have change 2 thirds to decimal. So, again, divide lang din natin ulit yung numerator sa denominator. So, we have 2 divided by 3. Then, let's put the decimal point. 2 divided by 3 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. Then, let's put 0 and bring down it. Uh, 20 divided by 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Then, subtract 20 minus 18 is 2. So, bring down ulit tayo ng 0 kasi meron pa tayong remainder na 2. 
So, we have 20 divided by 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. So, napansin nyo, kapag nag-bring down pa tayo ng 0, ng paulit-ulit, so, magiging 20 divided by 3, 6. 6 times 3, 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. Laging ang remainder niya ay 2. So, therefore, hindi tayo matatapos kaka-divide kasi maulit lang na maulit na ito yung remainder. So, therefore, yung sagot natin, ibig sabihin yan, non-terminating decimal. Kung maalala nyo, may diniscuss ako sa uh, video ko about decimals na may, types, may, may type tayo na decimal na, na non-terminating, meaning repeating siya. So, kapag ganun, pwede na lang natin i-represent yung sagot as 0. 666 and then dot 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 meaning walang katapusan paulit-ulit lang na mag na magkakaroon tayo ng 6 sa dulo so 0 0.666 and so on or meron akong uh, na-discuss doon na other way of writing non-terminating decimal so gagamit tayo ng line above the number na nagre-repeat so therefore since 6 yung lagi nating nauulit Pwede natin i-represent yung 0 0.6666 as 0 0.6 bar. So, meaning nung bar line above ng 6, mauulit lang na mauulit yung 6 infinitely. So, therefore, 2 thirds is equal to 0 0.6 bar. So, non-terminating decimal. Okay, let's have another example. Change 1, 7 over 30 to decimal. So, this time, meron tayong mixed number. So, kapag ganun, uh, change muna siya, change muna natin siya sa improper. So, we have 30 times 1 is 30 plus 7 is 37. So, we have 37 over 30. And then, pwede na natin i-divide. So, we have 37 divided by 30. Then, let's put decimal point sa dulo. Okay? So, we can divide now. 37 divided by 30, so this time, meron tayong sagot na 1. 1 times 30 is 30. Then, 37 minus 30 is 7. So, since 7 yung remainder, mag-add pa tayo ng 0. Then, bring down it. So, 70 divided by 30 is 2. Then, 2 times 30 is 60. 70 minus 60 is 10. So, bring down pa ulit tayo ng 0 kasi may remainder pa tayo na 10. Okay, magiging 100. So, 100 divided by 30 is 3. Then, 3 times 30 is 90 minus we have 10. So, 10. So, may remainder pa. So, mag-bring down ni tayo ng 0. So, we have 100 divided by 30 is 3. 3 times 30 is 90. Uli. So, we have 100 minus 90 is 10. So, again, napansin nyo na kapag nag- Add pa tayo ng nag-add ng 0 dito. Maulit at maulit lang na yung remainder natin ay 10. So, therefore, para din siya yung example number 3 natin na nagre-repeat. So, ng ngayon, dahil ganun yung case, pwede na tayong mag-stop at i-represent na lang natin yung decimal as non-terminating decimal. So, since napansin nyo na yung nauulit dito ay yung uh, 3 lang, so, siya, lalag so, lalagyan natin ng bar line yung number 3 to represent na mauulit siya infinitely. So, therefore, our final answer is 1.2333 and so on, ba? Or 1.23 with bar line above number 3. So, equal lang sila. So, meaning, yung 3 mauulit siya infinitely. So, 1.23 bar or 1.23333 and so on. So, therefore, our final answer is this. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. Okay, this time, magsi-change naman na tayo ng decimal to fraction. So, we have change 0.6 to fraction. So, mas madaling mag-change ng decimal sa fraction. So, ang una lang natin gagawin is, so, let's sulat natin yung given, 0.6. Imumove lang natin yung decimal point ng left to right. Hanggang mapunta siya sa dulo. So, dahil one decimal place, bala lang naman yung given natin. Isang beses lang natin imamove yung decimal point from left to right. So, we have 1. And then, whole number na yung decimal. So, magiging 6 na lang siya. 
And then, para gawin siyang fraction, yung nakuha nating 6, siya yung magiging numerator over kung ilan yung decimal place na minove natin, uh, yun yung magiging number of zero mo sa denominator. So, since isang beses lang natin minove yung decimal point, so meron tayong zero sa baba, and then, automatic magkakaroon tayo ng 1 sa unahan. So, power of 10 siya. So, laging pwedeng 10, 100, 1,000 yung magiging denominator natin. Depending nga kung ilang beses natin minove yung decimal point from left to right. So, ngayon meron tayong 6 over 10. Kung hindi pa siya simplest form, pwede pa natin isimplify uh, by dividing both numerator and denominator sa GCF. So, yung 6 sa 10, may GCF pa na 2. So, we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So, therefore, our final answer is 3 fifth. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. This time, we have change 0 0.32 to fraction. So, ganun lang din ulit. So, sulat natin yung given. Then, move natin yung decimal point from left to right hanggang makarating sa dulo. So, we have 1, 2. So, therefore, it is equal now to 32. Then, para gawin fraction, siya yung magiging numerator. So, 32 over, since dalawang beses natin minove yung decimal point, meron tayong dalawang zero sa denominator. And then, automatic, may 1 tayo sa unahan. So, therefore, 0 0.32 is equal to 32 over 100. O again, dahil hindi pa ito naka lowest term, may GCF pa sila. So, ang GCF ng 32 at 100 ay 4. So, divide natin both numerator and denominator by 4. So, we have 8 over 25. Okay, let's proceed to the next example. So, we have change 1.436 to fraction. Okay, this time meron tayong whole number. So, kahit may whole number tayo, apply lang din natin yung uh, ginawa natin sa first two examples. Imove lang din natin yung decimal point from left to right hanggang mapunta to sa dulo. So, therefore, sulat natin 1.436. So, dahil may tatlong decimal place values tayo, Move natin yung decimal point ng tatlong beses from left to right. So, therefore, equal na siya sa 1,436. And then, siya yung magiging numerator over, so, sabi ko kung ilang decimal place value natin siya minub. So, tatlo. So, meron tayong tatlong zero sa baba. And then, may one tayo sa unahan. So, therefore, we have 1,436 over 1,000. So, uh, obviously, hindi pa ito naka-lowest term. So, uh, kung nahirapan tayong maghanap ng GCF, uh, divide muna natin sila sa obvious na paraw silang divisible. So, dahil paraw silang even, divisible sila by 2. So, divide natin by 2. So, 1436 divided by 2 is 718. And then, 1000 divided by 2 is 500. So, again, yung 718 tsaka 500, parehong even pa rin. So, divisible pa rin sila both by 2. So, divide pa natin sa 2. So, 718 over 2 is 359 over 250. So, I think wala na silang GCF. So, therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. 359 over 250. So, notice na yung answer natin ay improper fraction. So, big sabihin, pwede natin siyang i-convert sa mixed number. So, pag i-convert natin siya sa mixed number, we have 359 divided by 250. So, we have 1, 250, 9, 0, 1. So, therefore, it is also equal to 1 and 109 over 250. Which is expected kasi diba meron tayong whole number na 1. So, itong whole number na 1, parang siya tong uh, whole number natin sa mixed number. 
And then itong 109 over 250, siya naman yung decimal na 0 0.436. Okay. So, that is how to change fraction to decimal or change decimal to fraction. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.